All right, man, torture talk, torture talk, 12 o'clock show, 12 o'clock show. How y'all doing out there, man? How y'all doing? Good afternoon to everybody. Good afternoon to everybody. Look, man, look, man, look, man. So, uh, I want to talk about this little Dirk situation again some more because there's a lot going on so fast. And, um, yeah, I want to talk about his case and all that good stuff and how I feel about it. Before I get into that, you know, I got to get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing if you're new here. Let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. They over there. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is on the screen. Cash app, PayPal is in the description. They call me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. A million by Monday morning. You know what I'm saying? And let me know where you from. I really appreciate it. So let's get right to it, man. Let's do it. <laughs> right, this clip come courtesy of Academics and WAC 100. And they're talking about Little Dirk's situation. And we're going to watch a little bit of it. And I'm going to watch the whole thing because it's too long. But we're going to get to it. And I'm going to give how I feel about it. So let's go. <laughs> What? What's my motherfucking name? And don't say Snoop Dogg. Whack one hundo. Whack one. What? Act. Yo, whack. I can't believe act. this shit, bro. Act. Act. They can say what they want. Let me tell you why it's only one me. See, act. Watch this. You see how. You good at what you do? You are an industry research nigga. And that's what you are, nigga. You the king of that shit. Of your mountain. I'm a mixture of all you niggas. I'm a street nigga that didn't learn y'all game. I don't got to learn it all the way because I got brothers like you that know it all the way. So whatever the fuck I don't do, guess what? You going to fill in the blanks for me. You my brother. But on the flip side, act. You got access to a nigga like me that got a different tie to these streets and what's going on. Yo, whack. You tell me, whack, take this, do it like this, and I guarantee you get a million views. Whack. I'm not going to question you. I'm just saying, bro. Whack, I ain't going to lie. This fu I'm going to be honest with you. Listen, bro. Yo. Listen, act. You've been when saying you this, but this whole street shit when it comes to rappers, bro, this shit is a dub. It's over. It's a dub. It's over. <sighs> okay, so. I've been saying this for a long time and I'm going to keep saying it. The streets is dead. I wish you niggas stop thinking that y'all getting over. I want y'all to understand there's surveillance everywhere, everywhere. You can't hide no more. You can't run no more. The whole thing of snitching this, the cameras are on you niggas 100% of the time. So when you do something, you're self-snitching in a way, especially when you get online and you start talking about how you're going to do something to somebody. This is why I have such an issue with Top 5. I hate niggas like Top 5. I hate niggas like him. Because... They trying to glorify the streets as if it's something to glorify. It's not. There's cameras everywhere. Everywhere. You niggas don't understand this. You can't get away from it. There's ring cameras everywhere. Even in the hood, people have ring cameras. If something happens, they can easily ask, who's it? Uh, who runs Ring? I believe it's um Amazon. I believe uh, uh, Jeff Bezos owns that. They could easily ask Jeff Bezos or whoever runs that. We had there's an investigation. We need those. We need those digital, those digital copies. And they're gonna give them up. Same thing with cameras in the air. Far as the uh, street cameras. Same thing with with uh. There's cameras everywhere. I don't understand why I don't understand this. 
But still in all, y'all still do these crimes. Y'all need to update y'all mentality when it comes to criminology. Because you niggas are stuck in the back in the day or behind. They got you niggas. They letting y'all do it. Because they you go off a nigga, and they can get you and get you up the streets. I'm no miss me with all the whole gentrification shit. Miss me with all that. We're gonna talk about it today. We're gonna get into all this. Where? It's a dub. Hey, right, let me explain something to you, bro. This the call I get. This is how I know your man didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. When I get a call and say, uh. Um, well, that was Remo. We on the move. Remo's the one who said he talked to DJ Ben. Remo's a dummy. And I'm going to tell him he's a dummy because I told him, yo, go no jumper. Put a major figure just got snatched. Stay tuned. He questioned me. That's on his dumb ass respectfully. You know what I'm saying? He's a dummy. Right? You went, you let, what you did was let Wack do the talking. We had a conversation. Your people heard it. They know, okay, Wack and gave it to us a lot. We see what's happening. See, what they don't know is when I get the call and the call's like this, uh, what's happening? FaceTime, what's up? Hey, nigga need to move around, but we can't go back because we don't know. But they just got our man, uh, whoop de whoop. Okay, here go the address. Get on over there. This, this. Some keys, get to where you gotta go. Boom. I know it's real. Fuck what you industry niggas talking about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they like, nigga, we calling you because we know you got some people up our way where you be going to and can you listen, go on over there, tell them this, they gonna hand you this and get to where you got to go holla at you. Oop, they got him, whack. Whack. I'm gonna be on. I, 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 I'm, so let, let me try to. Listen, add. you call me back. Fuck that DJ. He's a DJ. They go tell this bitch ass. You better not say nothing. So when you ask him, he not gonna say nothing. He ain't nigga. I mean, a DJ. I mean, I, I was starting to fear the worst. I'm when, when, the gangster with you. I was Look, starting listen, to fear the worst when I hit his manager and he wasn't saying nothing. But when not nah, bands connected. Nah, 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 bands the guy. Bands the guy. Like bands really. But, no, but, but, but he ain't nigga. Listen. So I guess that what they're talking about is, um, I, I'm guessing, I'm guessing that WAC 100 knew this was coming down the pipeline and he warned everybody and they wasn't listening. And academics, he seemed like he stressed out over this because maybe Lil Dirk is his man, that's his boy, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I got a lot to say on this, but let's go. That's the DJ? Yeah, he the DJ. If I the pr- tell my DJ shut the fuck up, he gonna shut the fuck up. I just told you when I go to jail, my woman gonna tell you he sleep. After two days, the homie figure out why well, I can't sleep two days. Blood locked up on power room. Like, listen, that's why I say that. You you know I'm a bad man. I, you know I don't bet. I only bet on short shots. You know that. So, because you my brother, your money ain't good with me, I'll put you in a situation where you're going to spend some money to make it back anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, so, anyway, but it was cool. No well, I ain't going to lie. I, I was hoping that... Yo, I'm going to be honest with you, man. man. I fuck with dirt, bro. I Act, fuck do you think, with let me dirt, ask you bro. Act, let me ask you something, bro. Act, you do know your fan base and you I respect. You know that, right? This is what I don't understand, right? And again, it's nothing against it's nothing against the, the the guy Dirk. It's nothing against him, and I'm definitely not into kicking people while they down. But all this sympathizing with these motherfuckers got to stop, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's be clear here, bro. All of this, all of this, all of this sympathy for these dudes who've been doing nefarious things, who've been deleting people, who have people deleted, who have all these people getting in trouble, or all these people like. All of this, oh, I, I, oh, I, my God, my heart. No, bro, no. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. This is what it is, bro. We, I'm sick and tired of us coddling these young boys, these young men, these young black men. We should coddle young black men, but in a way where they need to grow up with responsibility. But I'm sick and tired of us coddling these criminals, bro. These, these people who've been 
doing all this crazy shit. And we just some reason we, oh, yeah, that's my man's. That's not my man's, bro. That's not my man's. I'm not rolling with these dudes no more, bro. These dudes know better. They're too old. They grown. They're not kids. These dudes been doing this for years and they've been seeing the same results. It's not my man's no more, bro. All that's my man's that's over. That's done and over with, bro. Some of these dudes' feet got to touch the fire now. Now they got to walk against the coals, bro. You done put yourself out there. You can't expect nothing else. This is what you got to expect. You got to walk across the coals now, bro. That's it. All the families that y'all ruined, all the people. Nobody ever talks about the victims' families and the mothers that lost their kids and the, and the fathers that lost their sons. Nobody ever talk about that. Everybody always, oh, I'm cool. That's just my man's. You're cool with a killer. Your man's a killer. Your man's a killer. If there was anybody else, it, if it was anybody else, you would have a huge issue with it. But your man's a killer. You cool with a killer. I know. Outside of our broad respect, do you think I'm going to ever bring some bullshit to your platform? It's called credibility, my guy. You know when you say, let me call Wack real quick. Your fans have gotten used to, but when he calls this nigga, it shakes. It's credibility, bro. I, I got a, de I got a obligation to your fan base. When they hear my name, they hear my voice. I need them to like, okay, this, this, this nigga ain't, you know, his batting average is pretty high. I'm not finna bring no bullshit to your motherfucking platform. And plus, I'm gonna serve them in a way where they got to think about it. They can ponder it. They can call your little chat back and forth. Oh, he's talking about this. He ain't saying it, but he's saying this, this, that. There it goes. How'd you know? Honestly. I just told you. I get a call. Uh, FaceTime. Whoa. What's happening? Uh, whoa, 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 we need to move around. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, 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 I mean, you don't got to give up your source because we all got a source. But like, yeah, I you, listen, you, yo, listen. Yo, you heard it from direct or like just direct from my bro. Listen to me. It ain't a city. I don't have a team there, bro. I don't got to move with a hundred niggas from here. I can take a hundred niggas to Chicago. I ain't got no win them in their jungle. Why well, move a hundred niggas to Chicago when I can bring my solid pen and land and fuck with the niggas that got all the niggas? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, wherever city I go to, bro, I got a team. You know that? So they hit me. They're like, uh, shit then got spooky. What you mean? They snatched they snatch who? You talking about the other niggas? No, they snatched. Boom. We don't want to go back Yo. to the boom because we don't we don't know if the eyes is on it. You Yo. know, I got act, Yo, act, act, act. You whack. know, you know right there in your backyard. Do I got a spot? What what I know, I know. Yo, I whack, got whack. spots everywhere, whack. act. I, I I guess what I what I'm what I'm also trying to say is I that I told you. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whack. Th th what I'm saying about the streets being like, yo, put it like this. When Vaughn died. Everybody said, "When is this nigga gonna slide for Vaughn?" Now I I know he's a smart. Man, this shit is crazy, man. This is crazy, man. You niggas opening and 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 and, and, and I'm not talking about this dude here. Obviously, academics do some goofy shit, but I'm not speaking on him partic in particular. I'm speaking on everybody else that is surrounding the situation when y'all. It's escalating a situation. You know what I'm saying? When you gonna slide for when you gonna slide, when you gonna slide, when you gonna slide, when you gonna slide, when you gonna slide. And it's like, I can't blame nobody but you, bro. I can't blame nobody else but you. All you niggas put this in your music. All you niggas been talking about this. You ain't no, got nobody to blame. I'm not trying to hear none of that. I ain't trying to hear none of that. Don't hit me in my comments talking about some. Oh, bro, no, you got to understand. No, I don't, nigga. I don't have to understand none of that. I don't have to understand nothing. You niggas made your bed. You got to lie in it. That's it. All you niggas know better. We live in the United States of America. 
We don't live in no third world country. You niggas don't have to do none of this. Y'all do it because y'all want to do it. That's it. Everything can stop today if y'all want it to stop. But the mentality keeps going because that's how y'all want it. Y'all don't have to live like that. There's opportunities for everybody, even at the smallest opportunity. There's light at the end of the tunnel everywhere. And you niggas don't want to follow the rules. Y'all want to do what y'all want to do. That's it. So all of this, oh, you need to slide for this dude, slide for that dude. I'm not trying to hear none of that. Don't hit me with this, oh, you need to understand. No, I don't. I don't need to understand multiple black men getting killed. I don't need to understand that. For what? Why do I need to understand that? I don't. It shouldn't be that way. I'm not trying to sympathize with the murderers and the killers. I'm not. I'm not trying to sympathize with none of them. I don't want to hear your backstory. I don't want to hear about this person happened to this person. No. You know better. And if you don't, this is what happens. Guys, so them internet comments never got to him. But you know what's funny? The moment that reportedly he slid for Vaughn and now he's getting arrested for it, you know what everybody going to say? You a motherfucking dummy for tricking yourself out of that position. You one of the biggest in the game. You one of the biggest in the game. This is why I think, you know, sometimes it's so hypocritical sometimes even some of the stuff we cover because a lot of times the voices that speak into the people who's in the streets, they just want to see a headline. They don't give a fuck. Man, fuck all that. I'm not trying to hear that. You're, you're sliding for a nigga is you being successful. That's your sliding, nigga. That's what the sliding should have been. That's it. All you niggas out there, nah, bro, he got to get the get back. You do it. You go get the get back for him. How about that? Because to me, it just seemed like Everybody want to have somebody do something for them so they can be satisfied. So it could be a headline. Yeah, man. That nigga did it, bro. Now he locked up. Now he going to prison. Dummy. All this, I want to slide. I got to slide. I got to do. Nah, man. That shit is dead. You niggas support that? It's dead, bro. It's over. Y'all niggas want to keep on killing each other? Don't bring that around me. I'm not trying to hear none of that. I don't want to talk about none of that because y'all know better. Y'all been knowing better for years. Y'all seen this playbook. Y'all seen this movie a million times and y'all still, still being a part of the movie. Y'all still want to be the actors in the movie. You seen the movie already. You know how this ends. Dead or in jail or both. Everybody who says Sly for Vaughn, they guarantee I guarantee they won't call they won't call uh, um Dirk stupid. Cause he I is I guarantee. He is stupid. That's why. He is stupid. Tell me, I want y'all to understand this, right? I'm not calling black men stupid. I'm calling Dirk and whoever surrounding him dumb. And I'm gonna tell y'all why. This nigga Dirk, right? He got a number one, he had a number one song, got out of the hood, everything was good. This is his second time, I believe, well, this is the first, the second time being locked up. He probably locked up more than that, but this second time. Now he's locked up now. The first time he got out, whatever, I don't know exactly what happened, but I know he got out. Obviously he was out because he was home. Be the case or whatever, whatever case it was, I don't know the particulars, but I just know that he, he was... I believe he was locked up with Vaughn or whatever, right? The reason why I'm calling Dirk stupid is because you get out of a situation, you should have stayed out of it. You should have turned your whole life around. You should have said, you know what? Nah, bro. I'm, I'm going to make sure that Every one of my niggas turn this shit around. I don't care. It starts somewhere. So even if you say, well, I can't do that because something might happen, something's going to happen regardless. 
but it has to start somewhere. Should have turned it all around. You get out of it and you go back into it. Whether you want to say it's peer pressure or not, you a grown man. You ain't nothing young about Dirk. He a grown man. You can't tell me that he was persuaded by the internet for him to go do some goofy shit. He a grown man. He ain't no kid. He knew better. He did it. And he took time doing it. It wasn't like he did it because somebody attacked him and then he, it was a, a, a knee-jerk reaction. No, he planned it out. That's what happened, allegedly. But I'm just saying, if the man did something and he planned it out, how can you say that he's not stupid when he is out of the situation and went back into it? I don't know. Man. That's a fact. That's a fact. Man, I wouldn't have believed it until. I, like, by the way, chat. If you're wondering how I pulled this up, I can show you. I pulled it up. Too many niggas, bro. These young niggas. These young niggas is is dang built forward by niggas. Chat, I pulled up. Listen, I get what act. I mean, I get what what whack is saying. Acting whack. <laughs> I get what whack is saying. But at the same time. The mentality needs to change. It seems to me like everybody is like, well, the streets ain't for you, or these niggas be running with snitches, or the snitches this, or this and that. No, how about telling these niggas to stop doing dumb shit? How about that? How about you just say, listen, bro. It, it, listen, if I was a doctor, trust me, man, all my, all my, all my patients, all my patients would be cured. Because I just straight tell them, either you stop or you're going to die. That's, that's the, that's the, that right there is my, my, uh, my, uh, <laughs> that right there is me giving you a talk. My psychoanalysis right there. That's it. Oh, doctor, doctor. <laughs> is that it? Yes, that's it. Either you stop or die. That's it. Oh, boy, you, <laughs> stop or die. Either you're going to stop or you're going to die. That's it. Well, but there could be other things. What, what about what you have to persuade? No, I don't. And I think that that's what it is. A lot of these young boys, I feel like we out here trying to persuade them to not do something bad. Fuck that, man. No, I'm not. No, I'm not trying to persuade you niggas to not do nothing. I'm just going to tell you, bro, you know better. That's it. I ain't saying nothing else. I'm not trying to persuade none of these niggas to get their life together. No, I'm not. You know better. You see people. You even participated in a good life. And you still decided to go back to whatever you was doing. I'm not trying to hear that. Oh, you got to understand. They were a product of their environment. There's the streets. I'm not trying to hear none of that. None of that. You can change, period. You can't tell me that it's, a lot of these young men are incapable of changing. They can change. They don't want to change. That's it. If you are in a, a situation where you can't change, where it's a situation where, where I would say it's something that's catastrophic and you can't get out of, you can get out of it. You choose not to get out of it. You can get out of whatever situation you're in in America, there is a way out. That's how the system is built. You could do all this cheating to get around shit, then cheat your way out of it. Lie your way out of it. Everybody want to be honest when it comes to finding jobs. Nobody want to lie on their application, but they want to lie to their boys and lie to the girls. But you don't want to lie to get the job. Lie to get the job, nigga. Get out of the situation you in. Get your family out of the situation you in. Oh, this, uh, this is a weird life. This is weird. <laughs> Listen, I'm from the hood. Now, I keep saying it. I got out of the situation. I was a street nigga, 100%. That's why I don't feel no remorse for nobody. Because I feel like a lot of these dudes, they're there because they want to be there. See, back in the day when I was in these streets, when I was doing shit, nah. It was kind of that way. It's hard to get around it. Now, nah. You niggas is taking planes, trains, automobiles. 
doing all types of shit. Ain't gonna tell me that you were in it when you flying on a plane to go delete a nigga. No, I'm not trying to hear that. Flying on a plane to delete a nigga. Nah, 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 nah. Uh-uh. We're not doing that. This arrest record from the BSO um, jail inmate search. Dirk Devontae Banks. Um, he was booked today. I could tell you probably what time. It, well, it was booked uh, we're on the East Coast. So right now it's 1025, but it was booked on October 24th. I could tell you probably, where's the time? There's going to be a time here somewhere. But he was arrested by the U.S. Marshals. Uh, he has a hold. The reason why we know it's connected to that, the charge is murder for hire, which is the same thing as a conspiracy. What time was he booked, Act? I got the call 6.30 Pacific Standard Time. Uh, I, don't, I don't see the full time. Like, I got the call 6, 6.30. Murder for hire. Bro, that has to have a serious charge with it. Obviously, it's murder for hire, but if you did this in Cali, yeah, they probably going to go for the death penalty. If they don't go for that, you definitely get life in prison. Because this is premeditated, orchestrated. That's 100%. They, they, you, they definitely, and I think California, if this happened in Cali, I think California does have the death penalty. I'm not sure. I believe they do. I believe they do. I need to look that up. Hey, Siri, does California have the death penalty? Oh, yeah, they definitely do. <laughs> it's right there on the screen. It's capital punishment. I like that. That was cool. So, yeah. I don't know what to say, man. We gonna, I don't see the full time on, on the inmate page, but we won't get the arrest report. So because we're going to petition them for the arrest report. So we'll. Right, what I tell you, I said, that right, you're going to see it, bro. Oh, my God, man. <clears throat> I kept it 100. You know, this, you know, you got to expose the flights, my nigga. Yo, so, all right, we're going to make you a lot he, of money. He, here's, here's the thing about a charge like this. When the feds come down, they come for a murder. Wait, wait, no, no. Fuck all that, act. Fuck all that. Don't steal the words. I've already said, I told you, when you playing with a nigga that got five, six hundred million, when them people ain't coming until they know they got you, you know that. They'll let you break the law for 10 years. They not fucking with you until they know they got you. I already said, ask your chat. Chat, did I not tell act this at, at about two hours ago? Chat, ask the chat. I've been wanting to call on you, chat, act. Yeah. No, you're right. No, you're right. Oh, you don't be coming up in here. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Man. Nah, this is the, nah, I ain't gonna lie. I, 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 I mean, you've seen it before, but what, like, I know me and Dirk ever since we met, like, we started having a personal relationship. And I'm gonna be honest with you, like, every, like, none of this, bro, he was like a different person. Like, I was watching him, like. Get the fuck out of here, dog. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here, bro. I ain't trying to hear that shit, bro. Nah, bro. I ain't got sympathy for killers no more, bro. Nah. Fuck all that. He was a cool person shit. I'm not trying to hear that shit, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. I don't feel sympathy for none of, none of these niggas no more, man. I don't. I don't feel sympathy for none of these niggas no more, man. It's over for these niggas. Because these niggas know better. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. I ain't going to feel sympathetic for these niggas. I don't. You know what I'm saying? And and it is what it is, man. It is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But you like, oh, he, nah, nah, bro. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, bro. Really trying to change his life. But I don't know if it was too late. You know what I mean? I don't know if it was too late from, because, you know, I did an interview with him, right? I did an interview with him that was after that situation. Hey, bro. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. You were just you were you acknowledging now what situation are you talking about? Are you talking about after after King King Vaughn got deleted, or are you talking about a situation with uh with uh the situation that just happened? Well, not just happened, but that situation. Is that what you're talking about? Because listen, man, 
You can't you can't get a nigga deleted and then say you're trying to change your life after that. It don't work that way, bro. At least in my eyes, it don't. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Like, I'm just being honest, bro. If the shit went in in June, he was already on the list in January. Yeah. That's a fact. Yo, isn't isn't this shit cold? They let him do the shit at the United Center. <laughs> He did basically. They don't give a fuck about, what the fuck are you fuck about talking about? about? Man, they... You niggas is wild as shit, bro. That's a wild statement. Is it? This nigga literally said, this nigga literally said, isn't it wild that they let him do it? What the? F what? They let him do it? Who let him do it? They let him. This is what I mean. Like, no one wants to take accountability for the shit that these fucking criminals be doing, bro. This is the reason why the black community is where we at today. Because we keep having sympathy for these fucking criminals, bro. That's it. I'm sorry, bro. I have to, somebody has to tell the truth. And I'm going to sit here and tell it. We keep having sympathy for these crooks, bro. For these criminals. We so hard on black women. We always talk shit on black women. But we never talk shit on these niggas who don't do shit. These fucking criminals and these crooks. That's my issue. We got a lot to say about black women, but we never talk about these motherfuckers who doing all these fucking crimes and killing all the people in the hood. We always saying, oh, well, black on black crime is a myth. That's a myth. Is it really? Is it really? You got to understand, there's a lot of white people that kill each other too. We ain't talking about white people. We talking about black people killing black people. I'm so sick of it, bro. I'm sick and tired of it. Then you got good dudes like Nipsey Hussle who got deleted. Good dudes like him who was doing something for his community. I mean, literally doing something, doing a whole bunch of stuff. Was out there trying to make a difference in the world, period. And don't hit me with the bullshit like, well, he was trying to change his life too. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. But let me play this a little more, man. Cause this shit getting me upset. About them people, they pay the course, bro. They don't let nothing deter them for what their plans is, bro. They don't give a fuck about none of that. They stay the course. They don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Y'all can go give a nigga the keys. Let the nigga let him get married. You want to give him a check for seven trillion? That's cool. Give him whatever you want. They gonna move when it's time to move, bro. You know that. They don't give a fuck about none of that. And that's the problem right there. That's the problem. That's the problem. And I'm glad he said that. I'm glad Wax said that. But I'm gonna let y'all watch the rest on their channel. You know what I'm saying? On uh, Academics Channel, if y'all want to. Yeah, man. I'm sick of it, bro. I'm be honest with y'all. I'm tired of it. I'm done with it. It's too much. It's too much going on, and we always seem to coddle these killers, bro. We got to stop coddling the killers. We got to stop this, bro. We got to stop. We always say, oh, well, it's the environment. The girl, no. Do you niggas know? The environment is the environment. The ghetto is the ghetto. You know, the streets is the streets. If you were smart, you know the streets is the streets. If you decide to play a play in the street, you're going to get hit. That's it. Play in the street, you're going to get hit. Simple as that. And I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to call none of these, these, these killers no more, bro. It is what it is. I don't wish death on nobody or nothing like that. But at least I'm saying we have to understand, bro. We have to get past this phase. And I know a lot of people don't want to say it, but you got we got to say it. Got to stop calling the killers, man. But either way, man, 12 o'clock show is over. 6 o'clock show coming up, man. Love y'all. Y'all have a good night or a good afternoon, actually. Not good night. A good afternoon, man. And I'll see y'all, man. Be back with some more. Peace. <laughs>